Welcome. You have reached review time with Imperial. We're ready to review the Purge TV series. And I've been a fan of the Purge. I've been watching all the Purges since it first launched. Um, the last one that just came out a few months ago, which was really a prequel. I did a video on that, so um, you could definitely uh, look in uh, my videos and uh, check the uh, review I did on the uh, last Purge that came out. However, this TV series, I was kind of skeptical because at the end of um, that last Purge, on the post credit screens, it kind of introduced that the TV series that was um, going to be coming out. So here we are, started, and I was kind of intrigued because I'm a fan of The Purge. However, um, you wonder, by going to TV, will it still have its same um, uh, energy of the other Purges? And so let's get into it. So with this purge this scene is set it's already deep into the purge several purges have already happened and there's a, a couple different a few different scenarios going on and i guess uh looks like they're going to do the whole 10 episodes that they're supposed to do um all on one night of the purge so it's gonna be interesting to see how they're going to uh because you know what commercials and everything like that you know it's pretty much um like 40 minutes of actual TV time with the show. So, you know, you know, you're probably getting about uh like two, three movies of a purge all in one series. But it's I guess it's gonna be all based on one night. So you got uh I don't know none of the characters' names, they wasn't really mentioning them. So you got one scenario, you have a wife and husband who normally doesn't go out on a purge but they're trying to elevate their status in life so they wanted to go with the wealthy and um network and um meet some different people you know probably get uh some grant money and stuff like that some projects that they want to do so they elect to go to this wealthy rich person's purge party and um upon leaving the uh they shut their house down um their neighbor he was uh pitting uh wooden boards upon his house and stuff like that so their ride to the place uh the driver was pretty much asking them like where they're going they told him where they're going and he gave him a look like yo these people you going to like like they weird or, you know, they got some stuff going on. What y'all doing going out there? They basically um, saying, you know, they signed a consent form saying that everybody who's joining the, um, this party cannot purge and stuff like that. So he looked kind of funny at them and stuff like that. So uh, that's their scenario. They're going to a party. Another scenario is a, um, a woman um, that she's sees her mom in a hospital and then the mom is saying, I'm surprised you got to work on a night of the purge. And she said, yeah, I do. So wherever she works at, the whole level of floor that she's on cannot participate in the purge. And they got maximum security to secure that whole level. However, every other level of the building she in, anybody that's in there is free to purge. So she meets her boss. She's the head of this group, but then her the boss that's over top of her comes in, butts in her um her meeting and overtakes the meeting, telling everybody they get bonuses if they close the deal. So you could tell it's a little friction, you know what I'm saying? Sublimity, um, friction between the two. So you gonna see you go almost if you watch a lot of movies, you can see where that's gonna pan out to. So uh from there the other scenario. A guy, he coming back from the war or um, the services and he's looking for his sister and he goes looking for her and um, find out she's not in the place that she said she was. 
he goes to the slums, find out she's not there, but he runs into a situation where he had to shoot somebody, beat another guy up. They had this one girl, she was chained up. She told him that she knew where his sister was. So now all this is transpiring where it's counting down to the purge. Now his sister was at some type of cult place where they all agreed that they would give their selves to the purge, meaning they would go somewhere and let themselves be killed by people who want to purge. So that's weird. All right. So then the brother's looking for his sister and that's the different scenarios that's going on. So, so far, uh, the woman who is in the office Right before the purge, she got a call or a text from somebody that said, I'm here. And it was a private number. She goes downstairs and the person says, well, you can't um, pretty much, you can't let me in until after the purge start. So she, once the purge start, you know, the horns go off, get you in the mood, you know, all chaos, girl, go. And she gives this person money and you don't, you don't know, really know what the money exchange is. So that's. Going to be interesting to see where that pans out to. You got the brother who's looking for his sister. He's driving around his car while he's riding around in his car. He got his night vision goggles on. And he's seeing all types of chaos running through the streets. People killing people, shooting people. And everything's going off. So that's kind of cool how they show it through his night vision. And the different killings that um uh that go through. uh The party, um they got... These people wearing like masquerade masks, but the mask that they have is of a person who um, did some type of killings at one point. So it's real eerie and weird what's going on at the party. You can almost see what's great happening at that party. Something's great. Just going to be interesting to see how it gets to that point. But the party's looking weird. Looks like they great do something um, shaky at the party. And so that's their scenario. Um, let's say, and then, so finally the sister, this, there's a cult leader and that cult leader picks somebody out the bunch and tells that person that they, you know, they made the calling and then this person goes out and these are just real, like, really like young, um, young people anywhere from the ages of 17 to 22, somewhere in that range, it seems like, and he goes out there, he's going to give himself, but he starts to realize when he's looking at these people with axes and stuff, it's going to go down. So you can see he like, he really want to bail, but he's still staying true. And the people on the bus is watching him and they, they watch him get, uh, chopped in, chopped up with axes. So they, the sister, she's looking like, oh no, this ain't really, this ain't what I signed up for. I, I, I I'm not trying to do this. So. That's going to be interesting to see how that transpires. So that's pretty much in the first episode. That's what went on to get my review. So it's going to be interesting. It, you know, it's, it keeps my interest there to see how this Purge TV series is going to go. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to see. So for right now, stay tuned to next week. I do another re review on episode two. Subscribe and like. Share the video. Till next time.